If you want a sustainable or off-grid home, then your first consideration in your design is how you're going to heat and cool your home. In last week's video, I talked about the first of the three essential components you'll need to incorporate to heat and cool your new home for free. I talked about capturing and controlling the heat from the sun, and this is known as maximizing solar gain. If you missed that video, make sure to check it out. There's a link down below that will take you straight to it. Or you can go to my channel at Sustainable Home Resource to watch it and other videos on off-grid and sustainable homes. But in a nutshell, the three essential components that I call the solar design trinity are solar gain, thermal mass, and insulation. All three of these must be incorporated into a passive solar home in order to heat and cool without an expensive mechanical system. These three components ensure a home is comfortable year round. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use thermal mass along with the heat from the sun to create a home that will heat and cool itself without pumps, fans, or switches. And that means that there is no need for an expensive mechanical or cooling system. Now, depending on your location and your determination, you can create a home that will completely eliminate or at least drastically reduce your heating and cooling bills. Hey, Christina here with more tips and advice to guide you through creating an off-grid or sustainable home you'll love without the typical frustration, overwhelm, and costly mistakes. If this is your first time here, then make sure to hit the big subscribe button and click the bell to make sure you get notified when I launch a new video. If you plan to heat and cool your home for free, then this must be your first design consideration because the structure, the layout, and the materials you choose to build your home with is what creates the heating and cooling system. You can also utilize the ambient temperature of the earth by berming your home into the hillside. And this will keep your home even more stable and will ensure that your home will never freeze. That means that you can leave your home any time of the year for an extended period of time and never have to worry about your pets or your pipes freezing or overheating. I'll cover this in a separate video but I want you to know that this is a powerful design option that can work along with the solar design trinity. This video series will cover all three of these components as well as using the ambient temperature of the earth. So stay tuned and make sure to watch the entire series. Today, we're gonna to take a look at thermal mass, the essential ingredient that is severely lacking in conventional stick-built construction. Thermal mass will take the heat from the sun and store it like a heat battery. And using thermal mass and insulation along with capturing the heat from the sun will allow you to say goodbye to your heating and cooling bills. But most people just don't understand thermal mass or how they can incorporate it into their homes. One of the most frequent comments I get from visitors to Twisted Oak, our self-sustaining off-grid home is, your house must stay so comfortable because of all the insulation in the rammed earth tires. Well, our visitors are correct and that a large part of our comfort does come from the thick earthen walls. But the rammed earth, just like adobe blocks, cob, and concrete, does not act as insulation. These materials store and regulate heat and they're considered thermal mass. Thermal mass and insulation are both critical to any comfortable home, and they work together to create an energy efficient design. Conventional stick-built homes are required by code to have a minimum amount of insulation, and everyone's pretty familiar with that fluffy pink stuff often used in walls or in the downfill of a winter coat. We all recognize light and fluffy materials as insulation that helps retain heat in our homes and in the jackets that keep us warm. Thermal mass, on the other hand, is less understood. Unlike light and fluffy insulation, materials with thermal mass are dense and heavy, like stone, adobe blocks, rammed earth, and concrete. And there is no current code requirement for a home to include any amount of thermal mass. 
even though I find that it is equally as important as insulation because it actually stores heat. Incorporating thermal mass is essential if you want to eliminate your heating bills because these materials act as a heat battery. You can add thermal mass by adding rock hearths, concrete floors, and thick earthen walls. Then the entire structure of the home actually stores heat. Last week I talked about allowing the winter sunlight to flood the interior of a house and this sun spills across the floor, creating long sun puddles. A concrete or thick tile floor soaks up this warmth and stores it. Even thick earthen walls that aren't always in the direct path of the sun will still absorb the heat collecting in the room. During the day, the temperature in the house becomes warmer than the thick walls, so the heat moves into and is stored in the thermal mass walls. As the winter sun begins to set and the temperature outside begins to drop, the insulating window coverings need to be pulled to help keep the heat from escaping through the glass. Depending on how much insulation a house has, the room will eventually start to get cooler. And in a properly designed passive solar home with thermal mass, there is no need for a mechanical heating system to kick on at this point. As the temperature in the house drops below the now warmed walls and floor, the heat stored in those walls and floor will move back into the cooler rooms. All of this seems to work a little like magic, but it's just thermodynamics at play because temperature always moves from high to low. In the winter, this allows stored heat in the walls to warm a cooling space. The fascinating effect of thermal mass is that it also works to cool a house in the summer using the same exact principle. During the summer, as the house heats up from the hot summer temperatures outside, the thermal mass walls will literally pull the heat out of the room and store it in the thick walls, keeping the house cool. So what materials can you use to incorporate thermal mass? I chose to use discarded tires packed with dirt, but there are many conscious building materials you can use. Stone, concrete, and earth blocks are the most common. For example, compressed earth blocks are easy to build with, and they're allowed by many building departments. I'll include a link to a video from an expert on these blocks, and you'll find that link as well as more information on thermal mass materials in the description down below this video. A house like this will stay in the 70s all summer long without using any kind of mechanical system or burning an ounce of fossil fuels. Even when the temperatures outside linger in the 90s or even creep to over 100 degrees, our home stays cool and comfortable. Our house stays extremely comfortable winter and summer, and part of that is because we incorporated a lot of thermal mass, as well as insulation, and we burned the house into the hillside. During winters here in Colorado, we do need to have a backup heat source for when those winter storms settle in for a few days. We use a small wood stove that burns the tree limbs we cut down each summer as part of our fire mitigation efforts. Now the wood stove adds comfort and we enjoy it on winter evenings and during a storm. But on most winter days, the sun shines deep into the house and we stay warm and cozy, even with freezing temperatures outside. Even without the backup wood stove, our house never dips below the ambient temperature of the earth because Twisted Oak is nestled into a hillside. That means that we're never in danger of freezing. Our plants, pets, and pipes are safe, even if we are home to build a fire. I'll talk in more detail in an upcoming video about how to utilize the ambient temperature of the earth. You don't have to understand the science to experience the wonder of a comfortable home with thick thermal mass walls. There's a feeling of safety and peace in these types of homes as the entire structure radiates warmth in the winter and keeps us cool even during the hottest days of summer. After eight summers of living in Twisted Oak, I've not experienced one night that was too hot for me to sleep comfortably. So often, all we need to do is to look to nature for the answers. We don't need to close ourselves off from the natural world and then artificially heat homes with fossil fuels to stay comfortable. 
I know that houses in some climates may need to have some added heating or cooling. But imagine how little heating and cooling we would need if we designed our homes with more attention to working with nature and incorporating the heat of the sun, thermal mass, and insulation. Let's review what we know so far. We know that there are three essential components of a house if you want to heat and cool for free. They are what I call the solar design trinity, and they're solar gain, thermal mass, and insulation. And today we talked about the power of incorporating a heat battery by building your home with dense materials that act as thermal mass. These materials store the heat from the solar gain that collected during the warmth of a winter day and then release that warmth back into the room during the night. We also know that the process works in reverse during the heat of the summer. The dense walls and floor literally pull the summer heat out of the room, keeping your home nice and cool during the hot summer days. If I can build a home that heats and cools for free, then I know you can too. Designing a home consciously and efficiently either on the grid or off the power grid can drastically reduce your heating and cooling bills and your impact on the planet. You have many choices of conscious building materials that act as thermal mass. Choose materials that fit your environment, your building site, your skill level, and your lifestyle. And stay tuned as we learn more about how to heat and cool your home for free. Please leave me a comment and share this video with anyone you know who may be interested in building an off-grid or sustainable home. It's easy to share. Just click the share button just below this video. You can copy the link or share it directly to your favorite social media platform such as Facebook, Pinterest, or Twitter. I post a video every Saturday morning, so stay tuned for more videos on designing, planning, and building your off-grid or sustainable home. 